check this out guys the strand street mosque the second mosque built in pe so the architect was messrs molesworth and Pfeil. how on earth do you pronounce that the clients were abu sali and his two sons so construction commenced However, they experienced some financial constraints. And so the construction came to a halt. But there was an Ottoman sultan who came to the rescue. A letter dated the 22nd of February 1865 records the sultan's instruction to the Imperial Ottoman Bank in London to transfer the amount of 200 pounds to the Musulman, who were the Muslims of Port Elizabeth, to complete the mosque. And on the 1st of June 1866, the doors of the mosque were opened. Check the scale of the building. That's the door. That's, that's a dude. And that's a donkey cart. The mosque served the community for 34 years. It was then sold in the year 1900 and demolished the following year, 1901. The proceeds were used to build the Pier Street Mosque, which is less than a kilometer away, and was opened on the 27th of July, 1901. The position of the Strand Street Mosque was identified about two years ago which is basically the rear end of the Traduna Mall. So here's the exciting bit. The current owners, who are passionate about history and heritage, have now commenced with a construction to reinstate the original facade of the mosque. That's Quantu Towers over there. Let's head on down there. Okay. Those who are familiar with public transport will know that this is the Norwich taxi stop. The facade will be attached to this existing wall. I had to time the walk across here nicely. This road is always congested with taxis. They own the road, of course. I should have shot this with a wide angle. But I wasn't thinking straight. I was more worried about getting mugged walking across here with a camera and a selfie stick. They have tried to mug me here before, years ago, taking a taxi to campus. As you can see, the site is closed. There's no one working today. This is the rear entrance of the existing mall. It looks like they started to excavate for the casting of the base for the main tower. Here you can see they started to build up those two side towers. The existing plaster work was removed and they filled in the steps of the parapet wall with brick. I am really, really interested in seeing what the finish of this building will be. Check out the links in the description. Stay tuned guys, I will keep you posted on the progress. Please subscribe, like, comment and share. I'm out.